Hallelujah. Good morning po sa ating lahat. Good morning sa inyo pong lahat na uh, nakikinig at uh, those who are watching online. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Purihin ang Diyos sa buhay ninyo. Pagpalain tayo ng Diyos sa umagang ito. Hallelujah. Father God in heaven, who is there watching us right now, we thank you so much for this morning. Again, oh God, hallelujah. Hindi po balakid, hindi po hadlang ang mga pangyayari sa mundo upang ikaw ay purihin ka. Panginoon, sinabi mo sa iyong salita, if there are two or three gathered in your name, you are in the midst of them. Hallelujah. Lord, our number is just three, is just four. Therefore, O oh God, you are in the midst of us. Your presence is the most important, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for your presence. At Panginoon, ngayong umaga, wala po kaming papupurihan, wala po kaming sasambahin at dadakilain, kundi ikaw lamang. Manguna ko po, Panginoon, sa service na ito, at Lord, maghayag ka, Panginoon, sa pamamagitan ng mga awiting ito ng iyong salita sa iyong mga anak. Hallelujah. And how good it is to be in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's sing that song. How good it is to give thanks unto the Lord. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise you.
Hallelujah. Oh, it is good to bless your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is good. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name. We praise you, God. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. For you deserve all the glory, so oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the God that guards my heart, my help in time.
For you are 
hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah to the living God. Hallelujah to you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to you alone, oh Jesus. Oh, Holy Spirit. We love you so much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you. We thank you so much, Lord. Hallelujah. Today, oh Lord, hallelujah, is a day of worship. Amen. No one else. No one else that we're going to worship. Only you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And thank you for this morning, Lord. Na muli, dinalamo kami, Panginoon, sa lugar na ito upang purihin ka. Sambahin ka, Panginoon. Hallelujah. At Lord, sa pagpapahayag ng iyong salita ngayong umaga, kasihan mo, Panginoon, ng iyong kapangyarihan, ang iyong salita, Panginoon, na mamumutawi sa bibig ng iyong lingkod na gagamitin mo. At Lord, hallelujah, Lord, mamunga sa buhay ng mga manunood, Panginoong Diyos, hallelujah, maghari, Panginoon, open their eyes, open their spiritual eyes, open their spiritual understanding, so oh God, that they may grasp, oh God, the very message of your word this morning. At yung, ang iyong lingkod, Panginoon, na gagamitin na maghahayag ng iyong salita, Lord, anoint him a double, triple anointing, O oh God, that he may be an instrument for your glory, O oh God, in delivering your word. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, at inaangkin na namin ang katagumpayan ng service na ito. We give you praise, we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Praise God. How is everybody? Praise the Lord. Although that nobody answered. But anyway, God is good. God is good. God is in control. Hallelujah. Although that we still lock down. But again, no one can stop the word of God. Amen. At tuloy-tuloy po na ibabahagi po natin ang uh, salita ng Diyos. Amen. God is good po. Uh, Again, we are the Commission for Christ Fellowship. We are full gospel church. We are located here in top of the hill, Daly City, California. And uh, uh, we would like to, uh, once we finish this pandemic or being locked down, we are invited, invited you to come, join us, experience miracles, healing, deliverance in this ministry. Maganda po ang ginagawa ng ating Panginoon sa ating kalagitnaan. Amen. So, encourage you to join us, worship with us as soon as we finish this lockdown. But anyway, God's still good. God is still in control. Although that we have pandemic going on still, but God, the love of God is still in the midst of us. Hallelujah. Praise God. This morning, we are going to talk about a very important uh, message that link to what is going on in our midst nowadays. And I truly believe in my heart, you know, uh, that the Lord is uh, coming. You know, as, as I read the word of God, all the message that is mentioned in the book of Matthew chapter 24, is all seen today. And uh, hindi, siguro hindi po kaila sa bawat isa po sa atin na ang nakikita po natin, ang ating pong naranasan sa ating kapaligiran ay nagpapatunay lang na ang Diyos ay maaring ma malapit na bumalik. I would not say maari sapagkat we have assurance because it is prophesied by God it is mentioned in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 24. And this is today, we are going to talk about the most important topic that we are going to discuss this morning. It's about sign of the end times. Amen. Sign of the end times. 
And again, I say that this is very important sapagkat nakikita po natin all the things that going on ay nagpapatunay lang na bumubuo at nagbibigay ng katuparan, nagbibigay ng katotohanan ayon sa hinula sa aklat ng Biblia na ang ating Panginoon ay muling babalik. And therefore, we have those signs that God given unto us. Nobody knows when is the exact time. Although there's a lot of religious group that they pretending the day and the time when the when the Jesus Christ when Jesus Christ is coming back, but again, uh, wala pong nakasunod at wala pong naging uh, katuparan yung kanilang mga hula. But again, and the, the Bible says very clear that no one knows the time is coming. Even the Son of Man doesn't know that. Even the Angel of God doesn't know. Only the God the Father knows. Kung kailan nga ba tunay na babalik ang ating Panginoon. But God give us the sign, palatandaan na ibinigay po sa atin para po in that case, na, sa, sa ganun pong pagkakataon na tayo po ay aware of what going on sa mga darating ng panahon. At hindi po tayo maging puzzled o hindi po tayo maging question mark sa mga nangyayari sa ating kapal- kapaligran. And that's why we would like you to open our Bible, open our Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 16 and we're going to read on the verse 2 and 3 and this is Jesus is speaking about the sign of his coming okay in Matthew chapter 16 verse 2 and 3 said like this he he's talking about Jesus answered and said unto them He's talking to the Pharisees and the Sadducees, okay? So when it's evening, ye say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. Hallelujah. O ye hypocrite, ye can discern the face of the sky, but you cannot discern the sign of the time so jesus itself talking about the sign in the sky the signs all over the place we can detect all kinds of sign and jesus was speaking to the pharisees and sadducees and said that you can discern those things but you cannot even dis- uh, discern the sign of time Amen. The, uh, the, the time that Jesus is coming back for the saint. And this is what Jesus Christ is talking about. And this is what we're going to talk about today. And we're going to discuss this. So we are aware of what going on in the midst of us nowadays. Amen. So bago po ron tayo po ay sumandaling manalangin. Hallelujah. Once again, Lord, as we come to you, O God, this morning, Lord. As we uh, search your word, O God, habang inaalam po namin, sinasaliksik po namin ang katotohanan ng iyong salita. Lord, sa mga nangyayari sa aming kapaligiran, nakikita po namin, O Diyos, ang mga palatandaan na ikaw ay malapit ng bumalik. Hallelujah! At ikaw ay babalik sa iyong mga pinili, O Diyos. At Lord, I pray, O God, that this message, O God, will penetrate in the heart of your people. For those people who is watching our Facebook Live, for those people that is watching our online service this morning, Lord, I pray, Lord, that this message of yours will penetrate in the life of your people, that we will understand the very message of yours, Lord. And Lord, maunawaan po namin, Panginoon, ang mga salita mo, O Diyos, yung mga pangako na ibinigay mo sa amin, Lord, na ikaw ay muling babalik. Kaya ang Ama, sa umagang tulad, I pray, O God, Lord, anoint your message this morning, Lord. Be with us as we continue to study your word this morning, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. So, what are those signs that God given us? Why, why it is given to men about the sign? You know, uh, I remember... When I, I used to do a lot of traveling, you know, I used to, I, I enjoy long driving. You know, if you go to, uh, let's say, 
I'm travel along 101 going to L LA. Every time that you know we are approaching a city or a, or a place, you can see all those billboards starting to come. You know, and the more billboard that show up, the more closer you go to the place that you are going to be. Amen. And those are things that they say is that those billboards telling you that you are approaching to a place or like a place that you want to be, you know, and those are billboards that you can see on the freeway. So it is important for us to have those signs given unto us, you know, na uh, ang sabi na ating Panginoon, na hulaan natin yung mga bagay na nakikita natin sa ating kapaligiran. Baaring may mga sinyales sa ating bansa, sa bansang Pilipinas, sabi natin, pag ang, ang ulap ay dumilim, for sure it's going to rain. Hindi ho ba? At yan po yung mga palatandaan na ating ginagawa. And one time, I remember my brother was telling me, he was telling me this story. He, he was, during his elementary grade, he, he, the teacher asked him to draw uh, uh, a picture. And he said he drew red on, on, the, on the sky. And the teacher said, why you draw red on the sky? The sky is blue. And he, but they never realized that every, you know, at the end of the day, in the afternoon, you know, that's what they said then. Sometimes the, uh, the sky is colored red. So that's the way it is. Those are signs that given unto us for us to understand that there is something going on. Amen? And that is why it is important for us to know what's going on around us. And as I says, nowadays we have so many signs that we saw. If we are familiar on the Word of God, if we are familiar on the Bible about the Word of God, of what God is telling us, we will we would say that the God is coming very soon because oh we see all those kinds of signs. Jesus as they are natural sign in the physical world. Amen. Such as dark clouds before a storm. Amen. Sometimes we see those dark clouds and we know it's gonna rain. There are also signs of the time found in the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. For example, Jesus said, before the Son of Man return, there will be sign in the sun and moon on the, and the stars. That's why I said in Luke chapter 21, verse 25 to 27. And he said this, And there shall be sign in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nation with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. So meron pong ipinakita mga palatandaan. Amen? Ano yung mga palatandaan na pinakita ron? Ang sabi ron, meron mga palatandaan makikita natin sa mga araw. Sa buwan. Hallelujah. Amen? May mga palatandaan na gustong ipahiwatig ang Diyos sa ating buhay. Amen? That's why on verse 26 said, Men's heart paling. Paling them for fears. And for, look, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the power of heaven shall be shaken. Hallelujah. There will be shakening time. Hallelujah. Verse 27 said, And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. Praise the Lord. All those signs that God shows up. And I, 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 I remember all those signs that we saw. You know, when I was young, I, first time I remember when I was young, I think I was about, about only uh, uh, 13 years old when the first time I saw that comet. You know, those are one of the signs that happen. Comet and the red moon comes. It's already appeared. Those are signs that God given to us. Amen. And we saw that in our own two eyes. And, uh, you know, I remember again, the comet, the first time I saw the comet, this is way back home in the Philippines. And the second time I saw the comet here in the United States, it just lately, about, I think it's about, if I'm not mistaken, about five years ago, we, uh, they appeared the comet, comet, you know. And those are signs. And not only that, there's also a lot of signs that's coming 
as shown here, wars, rumors of wars. The Bible says there will be, uh, there will be, uh, uh, yung, 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 yung takot na magahari sa buhay ng mga tao. Amen? Those are signs that God given unto us. Wars, rumors of wars, kaguluhan, katakutan ng tao. Again, blood, spin, Bible says that there will be uh, signs, uh, wave roaring, hallelujah. Amen, there will be wave roaring. And those are the one of the signs that God given unto us. Hallelujah. Amen. There's more. Those are plugs. Man, remember this? We see this in our own eyes. Those uh, uh, tsunami. Amen. Tsunami that comes on us. Those things are signs of sorrows that happen in the life of humanity. Hallelujah. And that's why we need to be aware of what's going on nowadays. And I believe in my heart because I see this in my own two eyes that all these signs is happening right now. Nangyari po ito at nakita po natin ng ating, mga dal- ng ating dalawang mata. And I believe that God revealed these things for us to be aware of what going on in our life. Okay? So, ito po yung mga palatandaan na binigay sa atin ng Diyos. Na nakita natin ng ating mga dalawang mata sa ating kapanahunan. At ito po yung tinutukoy dito na, pala, uh, na signs of the time when Jesus Christ is coming back. So, there's also signs of time in the book of James. Let's look about in the book of James. James chapter 5 verse 1 to 3 and it said like this. Go to now, ye rich men, weep and hope for your miseries that shall come on you. Amen. Your riches are corrupted and your garment are moth eaten. Verse 3 said, your gold and silver is crunk and the rust of them shall be witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it were fire, ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Ano po yung tinutukoy dito ng Biblia? A lot of people are focusing on our wealth. But ang sabi po ng Biblia, darating ang panahon na itong mga kayamanan nito ay maging walang saisay sa pagbabalik ng ating Panginoon. And most of people are focusing nowadays on the wealth Nakakalungkot nga lang pong basahin sapagkat ang nakikita po natin ang mga tao ay nakatuon doon sa takbo ng sanlibutan. They spend their whole time working hard. You know, some people here, mostly here in the United States, that people work three jobs, two jobs, and they have no more time for them to know what is the Word of God. You know, uh, nakakalungkot po na sabihin na naka, even Sunday they're supposed to be in the our church they are in the church hindi po nila nakukuhang magpunta sa church sapagkat they are on, on Saturday night they work hard and they're tired early in the morning on Sunday they cannot afford to go to church and that is bad things and that's why the Bible says those wealth that we have darating ang panahon na ang mga kayamanan nito ay maging walang saysay sa ating buhay Amen. Those riches are corrupted and your garment are moth eaten. Ito yung mga kayamanan na ating inimpok na maaring mabubulok. Subalit so, ang sabi ng Matthew chapter 6, lay not up your treasure your treasure uh, treasure upon earth kundi yung mga treasure na binaingat natin sa mundong ito ay yung uh, nabubulok. Sapagkat ang sabi ng Panginoon Mag-lay, maghangad tayo ng kayamanan na nanggagaling sa kalangitan. And yan po yung tunay na kayamanan na kailanman ay hindi po mawawala sa ating buhay. Notice, pansinin po natin, James is talking about the last days. Okay? He says that hip-hop treasures of the rich are signs of the last days. 
Hallelujah. James proclaimed the worthlessness of riches and adopting the worldly standard nowadays. Sa ating kapanahunan, masyado tayong nakatoon doon sa kayamanan ng panglupa at nawala yung ating pagtoon doon sa kalooban ng Diyos na tunay na kayamanan na kailanman hindi pwedeng mawala sa ating buhay. And that's why James is talking about James chapter 5. Let's look this. James chapter 5 verse 7 to 8 says this. Be patient therefore, brethren. He's talking about Christians. He's talking about the believers. Be patient therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth and had long patient for it. Until he received the earthly and let latter rain. Hallelujah. Let's look at verse verse eight. It said like this: Be you also patient, establish your heart for the coming of the Lord. Draw it night. Hallelujah. Amen. Ano po ang tinutukoy dito? Maaring kaya ang sabi po dito ina ibigyan ko po ng example halimbawa kung kayo po ay na nakaranas na maging magsasaka. Amen. Ako po ay nakaranas na maging isang magsasaka. Amen. At tayo po ay matyaga nagaantay ng panahon ng tag-ulan. We are so patient to wait on that time. Amen. And that was James is talking about patiently therefore brethren unto the coming of the of the Lord behold the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth and had long patient for it until he received the earthly and latter rain but ye also patient amen he's talking about us now maging pasensya maging pasensya so tayo wait uh, patiently waiting establish your heart habang tayo ay nagaantay we need to establish our heart we need to establish our relationship to the coming of the lord draw it nigh Amen. Wag po nating aksayain yung mga natitira pang buhay na ating natitira sa atin sapagkat the Lord is coming very soon. Amen. Wag po natin, the Bible says, occupy till I come. Meaning, wag po nating sayangin ang ating panahon sa mga bagay na walang sa isay. Amen. Gawin nating makabuluhan yung mga natitira nating buhay for us to serve Him, to know Him. Because Jesus for sure is coming. And no doubt because the things that are going on around us, we see all those signs, palatandaan. And that's why Jesus Christ gave all those signs for us to know that His, His, His coming is draw nigh, very close. He's just right there at the door. Amen. So that is what James is talking about. We need to be patiently waited for the right time. Don't waste any time that left behind in our life na mapariwara lamang at walang saysay na magawa natin sa mga bagay na walang kabuluhan. Amen? Occupy till I come. And that is what the Bible is telling us. Another science in 2 Timothy chapter 3. I would like, I will read a lot of science today. 2 Timothy chapter 3, we're going to read verse 1 and said like this, This knows also, that in the last days, perilous time shall come. Ano bibig sabihin ito? Tandaan po natin, mababat-bat ng kahirapan sa mga huling araw. Isa po sa palatandaan na ibinigay ng ating Panginoon. And you see this. Nakikita po natin, nowadays, people are being laid off for a job. People who've been working on the hotel has been so long waiting for them to op- reopening of that hotel, but it seems like it will never happen. Hallelujah. Hindi pa mangyayari. And until now, they're still, you know, depending on the, uh, the help of the government. Praise God for those help of the government. Praise God for that EDD. Hallelujah. At uh, uh, malaking bagay po na naitutulong po sa atin. But again, again, I hear the news in the Philippines that the 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 uh, budget is almost gone hallelujah and that's the sad things yes sabi nga when, one time we we're talking about here we are talking here and uh, with, the, with the board of elder here while we're talking here we discuss about the economy nowadays you know america still have money 
you know, America is a rich country, but still, as we continue, as we go along with this pandemic going on, one of the day, this riches, one of the day, it will, will run out. It will run out. Amen? And that's why God is telling us we need to be prepared. Amen? Those things, gaano man karami to, it will completely gone. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, you notice that expressions last days is used several times in the New Testament by different writers. Amen. Here, the Apostle Paul writing to Timothy and says that in the last days, perilous time shall come. Hallelujah. Perilous, merong kahirapan na mangyayari sa mga huling araw. At ito po ay nangyayari sa ating kasalukuyan nowadays sa Pilipinas. Uh, marami doon ang sabi nagre-reklamo, yes, ma- hindi nga kami mamatay sa COVID-19, mamatay kami sa gutom. Sapagkat hindi sila nakakalabas para maghanap buhay. Jesus also talked about the last days in Luke Gospel, Gospel of Luke, and said this in Luke chapter 21, verse 25, and says like this, and there shall be sign in the sun and the moon. I thought we showed that a while ago, the picture. And in the stars and in, on the earth, distress nation with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. Hallelujah. Distress of nation. Masisindak ang bansa. Amen. Perplexity. Magkakaroon ng kalituhan. People that don't know where to go nowadays. People are having, uh, they, are, they are all afraid of what's going on. What's going on in their economy, in their lives. Nagkakaroon ng kalituhan. The nation distress in these days and hour. But it is the sign that we are on the last days. Hallelujah. Ito po yung palatandaan na tayo po ay nasa mga huling panahon. Amen. And that is why Jesus gave this for us para maunawaan po natin ang gustong ipahiwatig ng Diyos. And it's not only a storyteller for a lot of people. This, uh, you know, yan nga po sabi namin habang kami nagkikwentuhan dito sa board sa ating iglesia, uh, dalo, tatlong bagay ang nakikita ko sa mga tao. Tatlong bagay, ano yung mga tatlong bagay na unang, bag, unang tao, unang klase ng tao, mga taong uh, n- n- uh, natatakot sa mga panahon. Amen? Uh, they just uh, working hard to know the truth, to know the Bible. Amen? That is the first person. People are getting closer to God nowadays. And the second person is people that because of this pandemic, they run away with God. People are so, because of that, this, what's happening in this world, instead of going closer to God, they run away with God. And the third person is people that they just don't care. Ito po yung tatlong klase, tatlong uri ng tao meron tayo ngayon. People who get close to God, people that run away with God, people that doesn't care at all. It doesn't matter. At they are waiting for that, uh, for that vaccine to come. Ang nakakalungkot lang po, instead na sila po ay magtiwala, magantay doon sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos, ang lahat ng kalang kaisipan ay napunta. Ang kalang pag-asa ay naroon sa vaccine, not to God anymore. And that is the sad things nowadays. Amen. Every one of us, every people, waiting for that vaccine to come. And that is the hope of their life. Instead of Jesus Christ as their hope. Amen. Apart from Jesus, apart from God, we cannot do nothing. Hallelujah. Praise God. And that's why in Matthew chapter 24, Jesus provided us with some other signs. Hallelujah. And we're going to talk about a lot of signs today, as I said, relating on the end times. In Matthew chapter 24, the at this. Matthew 24, verse 6 to 8. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. 
See that you will be not be, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things shall must come, uh, things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Hallelujah. Verse seven. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquake in diverse place. Verse eight. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. Praise God. And we know what's going on. Wars, rumors of wars, they are all over the place. Wars, katatapos lang po ng labanan sa ating bansa, sa bansang Pilipinas. Amen? There are na nations against nations. Kapwa Pilipino, sila sila mismo nagpapatayan. Those are signs that God given it to us. Well, however, you look at these signs, you can readily see that His coming is drawn nigh. That coming of the Lord is here. He just right there by the door. Let's continue reading in Matthew 24. Hallelujah. Matthew 24, verse 33. I would like to read this. Yes, it's not, it's not on my, my, my uh, computer. So I just read this. Matthew 24, verse 33 to 34 said like this. So likewise, you, when you see all these things, know that the time is near, even at the door. Hallelujah. Likewise, ye, you see these things. Kung makikita natin ang mga bagay nito, Jesus Christ is right there by the door. That was the Bible says. Verse 34 said, Verily I say to you, this generation shall not pass till these things be fulfilled. Hallelujah. When Jesus said that this generation, he was talking about the generation that will be on the earth where these things come to pass. Hallelujah. So these things knows that the time of Jesus Return is near. Amen. But there will be scoffers. Meron po mga malilibak in the days who said, it hasn't happened. Meron po mga malilibak na darating. And that's why Peter said on chapter 3, verse 3 and 4, he said like this, knowing this verse, that this, this, that this shall come on the last days. Scoffers. Ano yung scoffers? Mga manlilibak. Amen. Walking after their own lusts. Verse 4. And saying, Where is the promise of His coming? For since the Father fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Asan yung sinasabi mong muling pagbabalik? And those are the scoffers that mentioned here in the book of Peter. But there are still folks who walk after their own lusts, as they say, where are those promises of His coming? Well, it's certainly those people are not paying attention on the sign. Amen? Those people doesn't read the Bible probably. That's why they doesn't know. For every sign point to the coming of Jesus. Hallelujah. Paul goes on to describe what many people would be like in the last days. Meron pong binanggit dito si Apostle Pablo na mga pangyayari na mangyayari during sa mga huling araw. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, 1-5, to and said like this, This knows also that in the last days, spiritless time, shall come. Amen. Mababatbat ng kahirapan sa mga huling araw. Proud, blasphemers, disobedience to their parents, unthankful, unholy. <clears throat> Those things are going on nowadays. Men are lovers of their own self, covetous, boastful, Proud, blasphemers, disobedience to their parents, unthankful and unholy, without natural affliction, affections, 
class breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. Hallelujah. Traitor, heavy, high minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 5, having a form of godliness, godliness, but denying the power thereof, for such turn away. Maari akala natin siya ay makadiyos, subalit ang kanyang puso ay malayo sa kalooban ng Diyos. Amen. Those are signs that given unto us, mga tao na ginamit ng mga maraming, maraming naging followers, mga taong sinundan ng mga tao na hindi nakakilala sa salita ng Diyos, maaaring sila sa tingin natin ay makadiyos. Subalit malayo pala ang kalang buhay, ang kalang isipan. Paul begin by saying, men will be lovers of their own self, selfishness, hallelujah, covetous, gahaman sa salapi, boastful, palalok, proud, mga mayayabang, blasphemous, Walang utang na loob. Amen. Unholy. Labastangan sa ating Diyos. Kaya nga po ngayon, nowadays, the word sa Bible says, do not use the name of the Lord in vain. Kung tayo po ay nasa lumantipan, hindi po natin pwedeng banggitin ang pangalan ng Diyos. Sapagat right there, you are going to die. But nowadays, the name of Jesus is only now expression of people. Binabanggit ang pangalan ng Diyos ng walang parakang bagay. Amen. Nowadays, and to see those all those times na walabastangan sa ating Diyos na buhay. Hindi kinakilala ang ating Diyos na Diyos na makapangyarihan, Diyos na banal. And those are unholy people. Youth problem. Sometimes they are parent problem because parents have not properly trained their children. Amen? The criminals nowadays are young people. Have you noticed that? Ang mga criminal ngayon, hindi na mga adult, kundi mga young, young, young teenagers nowadays. And that's why in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 3, without natural affliction, those people, walang habag. Amen. And that is what going on nowadays. Now, notice the second Peter, that false teachers are another signs on the last days. Sa mga huling araw, lalabas ang mga bulaang propeta. There are a lot of false prophets that's coming. On the last days, look at the second Peter, chapter 2. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, among the people. Hallelujah. Verse 3. And though covetousness shall they with pain would make merchandise of you. Hallelujah. Those are poor prophets nowadays. Numalabas po sila sa mga kapanahon na natin ngayon, sa huling, huling araw. Look at this. Have you noticed David Koresh? Everybody knows David Koresh? Leaders of Brands the Bidian claim that he is the Messiah. Amen? He is the guy that in Waco, Texas, that they commit a mass suicide during the time of the attack by the FBI. In 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 in, in uh, Waco, Texas, he claimed that he is the Messiah. Other one is Sun Myung Moon, a Korean religious leader, a Messiah claimant. He claimed also that he is the Messiah. He was the founder of the unification movement, and it widely noted blessing or mass wedding ceremony. The author of its unique the theology. The divine principle. Not only that, we have Jim Jones, an American preacher, so socialist, civil rights activists, active, activists, and faith healer 
turn to a cult leader. They also commit mass suicide. Amen. They have the communion of the, they do the communion of that cyanide and kill all those members right there. And those are signs. False teachers are coming up. And not only that, there are so many. There are so many nowadays that they're claiming that they are the Messiah. And those come during the last days. Amen. Hallelujah. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. James chapter 5, verse 7. I mean. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman is waiting for the precious fruit of the earth and shall have long patience. We need to be patient, waiting for the right time. Because Jesus Christ is coming very, new, very soon. Hallelujah. For it until they receive the earthly and latter rain. Hallelujah. Be patient. Praise God. In Acts chapter 1, verse 7. 17, and it shall come to pass in the last days. Amen. There are the expressions against the last days, okay? We always mention the last days nowadays. Said God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. I will pour out the spirit upon all flesh. And your son and your daughter shall prophesy. And your young men shall See vision, and your old man shall see dream dreams. Praise God. Sa mga huling araw. And that's why I was telling a while ago the three persons that we have nowadays. In these times of the pandemic, people who knows the word of God get close to God as soon as they have the best thing that they can do. Because they know that the coming is no nigh. And there are some people that people are run away. Instead of coming to God, instead of running to Him, they run away. And people that they are ignorant in the Word of God, they just do nothing. They're waiting for their hope, which is the vaccine. Hallelujah. God is coming very, very soon. Notice it says that God will pour out His Spirit upon all flesh. He will pour out the Spirit of God upon all flesh in the last days. That means all people, including the church folks. Amen. Therefore, not only will unsaved folks be born again and become children of God, but people will be baptized and filled with the Spirit of God on the last days. Bakit po? I gustong iparanas ng Diyos yung kanyang kapangyarihan sa mga huling araw. Amen? And again, gusto niyang pukawin ang sangkatauhan sa mga huling sandali ng ating panahon. God is trying to shake in us right now. And that's why I noticed that the, the pandemic, it never stopped. I, we were thinking, everybody, when the pandemic starts, akala lang natin, it will last only two months, three months, but it's not. A lot of people says that this pandemic will stay longer as we expected. Amen? And uh, nowadays, uh, the things that I see, this pandemic is increasing and increasing. Why? Is because people are trying to ignore these things. People are trying to ignore. And, and the sad thing is even the very elect. Yung mga taong tinawag minsan ng Diyos. Naglingkod sa Diyos. Try to turn around and go to that, uh, the desire of their flesh. Instead of surrendering their life. And that is why God pouring his spirit in the last days. We are on the sickening time. Pinupukaw ng Diyos ang sangkatauhan for us to repent. For us na tayo po ay magbalik loob sa Panginoon. Time is getting short. Huwag po nating sayangin ang mga natitirang oras para hindi po nating ibigay ang ating panahon sa paglilingkod sa Kanya. Well, 
forget those things. Maring meron tayong mga nakaraan, pinagdaanan sa Manolo, whatever it is. Those are the, the, the desire of the flesh. Man, God is coming very soon. Don't waste any time that we are not serving God, that nang tayo ng Panginoon, na tayo ay nasa panahon ng panghihina. Hallelujah! Nakita po natin ang lahat ng panatandaan na nangyayari at binigay ng Diyos para po tayo magising sa katotohanan. And that's why Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18 said like this, Be not drunk with wine wherein it exists, but be filled with the Spirit. Hallelujah! Huwag tayong maging lasing sa alkohol, kundi maging lasing tayo sa, sa presensya ng ating banal na Espiritu na ibinigay sa atin. Amen. Don't drink with wine wherein He exists, but be filled with the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Rapture is coming over. The rapture is coming over. Amen. And that's why uh, it's very clear when this event will come, Jesus will not come down here on earth. He will come down in the clouds to meet the saint. And there will be a great uh, evacuation in this world. Hallelujah. And that's why I would like to call this. <clears throat> it's not in our topic, but I would like to talk, uh, talk this to you. In, in, uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, said like this, verse 52, Gusto ko lang pong talakayan ang mga bagay nito para aware po tayo sa mga pangyayari. And those who are listening right now, who is watching wherever you are, kung kayo po ay nakikinig ng ating, pro, ating uh, Facebook Live na ito o nanonood kayo sa ating, uh, ating YouTube channel, uh, aware of these things that the rapture is coming uh, to us. The Bible says, in the in the plus, in the twinkle of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised, rise impressible, and he will be changed. Amen. In the twinkle of an eye, Darating po ang ating Diyos sa isang kisap mata. Ibig sabihin, wala po tayong panahon para tayo ay mag-repent during the time. Twinkle up an eye is not even one second. Amen? No time for us to repent. God give us a lot of time for us to realize that God is our Savior that He give us all the time for us to repent and don't wait until the twinkle of an eye come for us to realize that we need to repent. It's no more time. It's very quick. Napakadali po ng pagbabalik ng ating Panginoon. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, gusto ko lang mong basahin ang mga talatang to. Bago po tayo magbukas, sapagkat I don't want to take this, I would like to take this opportunity for us to understand what is the message of God towards us. In 1 Thessalonians, Hallelujah, Chapter 4, Praise God. 1 Thessalonians, Chapter 4, Verse 16 to 17. Ang sabi po on, For the Lord Himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we are still alive. After that, who are still alive are left will be caught up together in with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So we'll be with the Lord forever. Amen. There will be great evacuation 
during that time. Hallelujah. And that's why God is preparing us. The Lord is coming soon. And after that, for those who were left behind, will experience the seven years tribulation period, which is the wrath of God. Amen. Which means the Bible says that you cannot buy and you cannot sell. And I believe during that time that there will, a lot of people will die in hunger during that time. This is going to be used by the Antichrist. Amen. They will have uh, on the first and a half years of the seven years tribulation, they will enjoy the peace treaty of those Antichrists. They think that they are good. You know, they will make a treaty with the Israelite, the Israel people. And they will build their, their nations, their economy on the first three and a half years. But after that three, to one and a half years, I'm sorry, one and, uh, three, and a, three and a half years. And after that three and a half years, they will change the situation. They will change the situation. The, 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 the wrath of the Antichrist will be poured out. Amen. And they said that you cannot buy and you cannot sell. They will be under control. The world nowadays is controlled by, by does this Antichrist through that economy, the collapse of the economy of our nation. Not only in our nation, but the whole world. The, uh, the economy will collapse and then they will be under control by the Antichrist. Amen. They, they will, on the first three and a half years, they will enjoy the peace treaty. But on the last days, hallelujah, in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 to 17, amen, you cannot buy, you cannot sell during the time. Meaning, you cannot be a part of the economy of the world until you have the mark of the beast, which is 666, that will put in our forehead and in our hand. And that is controlled by the Antichrist. But men, don't wait until those things come. Amen? One of these days before these things happen, God will rupture the church first. And those who were left behind will experience the seven years tribulation period. And that is the wrath of God. Amen? God, one of these days, will remove the salt of this earth. And the Bible says that we are the salt and the light of this world. Christians are the lights and the lights and the salt of this world. And one of these days, God will remove the salt, the preservative in this world. And if the, the world has no preservative, it will be rotten. Amen? And after that, there will be what we call the millennium time, meaning... 1,000 years, Satan will be bound on bottomless pit. And then the, the, the Jesus Christ will come back for the second time. With, together with the saint, together with the angels here on earth. Hallelujah. And we're going to put on that what we call the battle of Armageddon. Hallelujah. And those are the most victorious life that we will experience. Because God said, according to this Bible, he will sweep those people, the people that don't believe in God, those people who, who hate God, those people, the Antichrist, that will, God will wipe them out, hallelujah, during that time. And we will experience the most victorious life that we never ever seen happen in the life of humanity. But praise God, the most important thing is here. Don't wait until those time happen in our life. Wag na po nating antayin na yung panahon na yon ay mangyari sa ating kapanahunan. God opened the windows of heaven for us to realize that Jesus Christ is our Savior. The Bible says this end times will happen like the time of Noah when people are busy working around, doing their things. Panahon na sila abala. Nung kapanahon ni Noah, when Noah preaching about the salvation, that they want them to go inside that ark, but people are laughing at him. 
they just deny the power of God. And this thing will happen for us on the last days in our time. Amen. The door of salvation is still open for us. Don't wait. Those time will happen for us, the wrath of God. Amen. Kaya nga po ngayong umaga, we have a lot of opportunity. Meron po tayong maraming pagkakataon na tanggapin natin ang Diyos para hindi po natin maranasan yung galit ng ating Panginoon sa pagdating ng panahon. If you want to receive Jesus Christ this morning, kung gusto po natin tanggapin, tayo po ay makasama doon sa tinatawag na rapture, the, the coming of Christ to, to evacuate us in this place. And we will never experience the seven years tribulation period. It's very simple. The Bible says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Hindi po sinabing, I am one of the many ways. Hindi po yon. He is the only way. Jesus is the only way. The truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. Si Jesus lamang po ang daan. Baliban po roon. Wala na pong ibang daan. Amen. Jesus is the only way. The Bible says, John 3.16, For God so loved the world. Mahal po tayo ng Panginoon. Minahal tayo ng Diyos. That He even give His life. He died on the cross for us to be saved. Ibinigay niya yung kanyang kaisa-isang buhay, ang bugtong na anak ng ating Diyos, para po tayo magkaroon ng kaligtasan. He died on the cross for us because He loved us so much. That whosoever believe on Him, sino man ang manampalatay sa Kanya, ay hindi mapahamak, kundi magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. If you want to experience those life, the everlasting life that God has promised, gusto ko po kayong ilid sa maiksing panalangin. The salvation, make it simple. Hindi po ginawang the very complicated ang kaligtasan ng ating, ng ating buhay. It's very simple. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you will be saved. If you confess with your mouth, kung tatanggipin natin si Jesus bilang Diyos at sariling tagapagligtas sa ating buhay, tayo po ay maka- maliligtas. Mararanasan po natin yung buhay na walang hanggan. So lahat po ng mga nanonood sa mga oras na ito, if you are watching right now this uh, message this morning, I would like you to bow down with me, follow along with a simple prayer. So isang maiksimple na lang na ating pong babanggitin. If, if you follow this with your heart, sa ginatanggap natin sa Jesus bilang Diyos at sa rin terpagligtas, mararanasan right on the bare moment, your name will be written in the book of life. Hallelujah. Tayo po ay yumuko, Panginoong Isus, sa ubagang to, isinusuko ko ang aking sarili. I acknowledge, wala po akong magagawa sa aking buhay, maliban sa iyo. Kaya ngayong umaga, lumalapit po ako sa iyo, humihingi ng kapatawaran, patawarin mo ko sa lahat ng aking kasalanan, mula sa aking pagkabata, hanggang sa kasulukuyan. Tinatanggap kita, Panginoong Jesus, bilang Diyos at sariling takapagligtas ng aking buhay. Manahan ka sa aking puso. Ikaw ang kumontrol ng aking buhay. Ibinibigay ko ang aking sarili sa iyo bilang Diyos at sariling takapagligtas ng aking buhay. Tinatanggap kita bilang aking Panginoon ng aking buhay. Sa pangalan ng Yesus. Sa pangalan ng Yesus. Kung kayo po ay sumunod sa maiksing panalangin na binigay po natin, with your heart, you really mean it in your heart, your name is written in the book of life. And you will never experience the love of God. That you have the assurance that one of these days, you are going back to our Creator. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maray po salamat ngayong gabi, ngayong umaga. As we close our service this morning, I would like to pray. Panginoon, sa umagang to Panginoon, doon sa mga sumunod, nananalangin, sa maiksing panalangin na ginawa po natin, Lord, I pray, Lord, that your hands will be upon them, the hands of protections, Lord, that we, he will, they will experience the love of God, the miracles, 
the salvations over the life, Lord. Kasama na puro on yung kagalingan, kaginahawahan, abundance life that, Lord, that you have promised unto us, Lord. Maranasan po namin, O Diyos, ang mga bagay nito, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray, O God, for those people that received the Lord this morning, Lord, selyohan mo ng banal mong dugo, O Diyos. Ang kanilang pagtanggap, ang kanilang kaligtasan, Panginoon. And I pray, Lord God, na sila po ay uhawin mo sa iyong salita, hanapin ang iyong mukha, O Diyos. Ibigay ang kanilang buhay, Panginoon. Maranasan ang tunay na kaligtasan sa kanilang buhay. Lord, hallelujah. Salamat po, Panginoon. I pray, O God, sa mga may sakit karamdaman, O Diyos. Sa lahat ng nanonood, may mga sakit karamdaman sa inyong mga bahay, sa inyong mga tahanan. Meron man kayong mga problema o maaari ito sa pananalapi, sa anumang, dako, sa anumang sitwasyon ng ating buhay. The Lord is not limited with the distance. He can penetrate to your screen. Whatever, wherever you are, ang kahimala ng Diyos ay dadaloy. Wherever you are, saan man kayo naroon. Panginoon, sa pangalan ni Jesus, I as lay hands my hands. For those people, Panginoon, maaaring sila may sakit karamdaman. Maaaring sila, Lord, ay may mga problema sa kanilang pananalapi. Ano man ang kanilang sitwasyon sa mga oras nito, Panginoon. I pray, Lord, for those people, O God, who receive you, Panginoon. At sa lahat ng mga taong nananampalataya sa iyo at nagtitiwala sa iyo, Panginoon. I pray as I lay hands, Lord God. Ipadalay mo, eh, Diyos, ang himala ng kagalingan sa buhay ng iyong mga anak, Lord. Itantay mo, Panginoon, ha, yung mahabat na pagpalang kamay. Ipadalay mo, O oh, Diyos, ang kaginhawahan, ang himala ng kagalingan, himala ng abundance, Lord, anumang sitwasyon na kalang buhay, Lord, that you are going to meet them, Lord. Lord, this is our prayer. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat.